Namaskaram. Welcome to Peak Gurus. I'm your host, JK. Tonight, we're going to look at uh, something a little interesting, maybe funny, because we have somebody who is he's an author. He has written some books. Uh, popular among them is, is uh, Twisted Threads. He's a satirist. He's a columnist. He's written articles. And, and he's also a host, a podcaster, and he's doing it for Atharva Foundation. I'm really happy to welcome uh, Bhavesh Kansara. Namaste and uh, thank you, JK. Always a pleasure to be a part of uh, such conversation. I guess you, you're going to light this up. That's all I'm expecting from this. <laughs> we, we kind of planned it uh, maybe a couple of days back, but things couldn't work out earlier. So we have Kansara now. I kind of, kind of got hold of him for you, right? For you people. Cancer, in fact, we, as we spoke, right, uh, something that is really... <laughs> Uh, funny happening around is uh, people uh, that that's kind of uh, some Hindu awakeness that has happened and people are just going around sharing tweets and uh, posts about a particular movie uh, that didn't do well on its first day, right? Maybe I guess that, that could still be rumors. I guess we'll just leave it at, at that. But still, you know, uh, just as the post uh, makes us a little wary about, you know, whether that is true or not. But still, you know, people are happy uh, doing that. I would just subtly put it as, you know, uh, Lal Singh Doda, right? Uh, the, though the movie name could be different, right? That That's what's happening uh, in the theaters. Well, what's your take on that? Yeah, I think ever since the, the movie promos were released for Lal Singh Chadda, there was uh, bound to be a lot of controversy, especially because what uh, Amir Khan has been saying and doing in the past, uh, including in some of his movies as well. But I guess, uh, you know, right now uh, they've figured out that it is possible for them to take a backseat. I think all these years uh, they were under the impression that uh, the audience, especially the Hindu audience is uh, taken for granted. You know, we push whatever agenda we want, either subtly or over the top, and it's going to work out well. But I guess, you know, with social media and with, like you said, there is some Hindu rejuvenation that is happening. So I guess the cancel culture works both ways. Right. In fact, just talking about the movie, I guess there, 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 are, there are tweets that kind of are in support of that movie, at least if not the movie, at least the industry, right? There, there, there's kind of Bollywood boycott that people are trying to do. And there are people, I guess, the elite, maybe sh we should just categorize them as elite right-wingers trying to, you know, portray a picture that, you know, uh, we should uh, somehow support the industry. Uh, if industry is the case, I guess, uh, there were calls from many people to shut down industries like Starlight. I guess uh, we, we've been seeing a lot of uh, call to actually close down cracker industries, which has been happening for decades now. Uh, why is this, you know, why is this posturing by some of our people? I would say that the right wing, it's not a term that I like to use, uh, but for the want of a better word, you know, let's just continue with the right wing, which is basically anybody who is not a left wing right now in India. But yes, I think the main reason is that the right wing is obsessed with looking at equivalences that don't exist. It is like, it's like your opponent is bringing hockey sticks and swords and stones in a game of football and you're trying to tell them not to play with shoes, you know. So that is the kind of uh, mindset that uh, the typical right wing has. And sometimes this leads to these kind of arguments where they say that, hey, there's so many people who are employed. And like you rightly said, you know, there are so many people employed by so many corporates, by so many industries, by so many initiatives. And, you know, those are not the arguments that you would make for uh, Bollywood. If that is the case, then I think, you know, we could pretty much allow anything to happen as long as we argue that, you know, people's livelihood is at stake. So I don't really buy those kinds of arguments. Uh, those arguments missing the context is something that we seem to be doing quite well. Right. In fact, just going back to the movie again, uh, this is a movie that was done almost uh, a couple of decades back by Tom Hanks. I guess he won an Oscar for that. And in fact, just recalling in the same manner, there was a movie in Malayalam that was remade in Tamil by Rajadikant and that became a super duper hit that was more like a comeback movie for him. Uh, why do you think this movie, after almost 18 years, a remake of Forrest Gump uh, is not doing well as of now, the first day, though? Why do you think? Is there a lack of uh, interest among people to watch remakes? Well, I'm not sure why the movie was selected, especially after so many years. But uh, what I am not surprised by is a complete lack of creativity and originality 
right from the name Bollywood uh, itself, you know, which many before me have pointed out. I am not the first guy to say that. But I do agree. I think there is kind of a, a what I would say, an attraction towards what happens in Hollywood. And, you know, just to take this particular case, if you probably remember, and maybe not many do, Amir Khan did act in a movie many years back, maybe around the time Forrest Gump was released. I'm not sure, maybe mid-90s or so. The movie was called Atank Hi Atank. Uh, he was not the protagonist of that movie, but he plays Don, you know, kind of like Michael Corleone. And it appears that I have not seen the movie. I, I don't want that misfortune of doing that, uh, watching the movie. But uh, seems a ripoff of uh, Godfather, a bad ripoff of Godfather. And uh, Amir Khan himself is a very bad ripoff of uh, Michael uh, Corleone. And in one of the interviews, he said that it was a mistake to act in that movie. And uh, the reason that he gave is that it doesn't suit the Indian audience. You know, it is it is not meant for the Indian audience. And 20 odd years later, you know, he does a movie where people have been trying to, you know, see the lack of logic between what Forrest Gump was and what is happening in Lal Singh Chadda. So to me, it is it is very strange that they picked something like Forrest Gump, you know, there are a few things that uh, I would rather prefer not to be touched, uh, even by good intentions. Uh, you know, just to go on a tangent, this is what is happening with the Lord of the Rings, uh, where Amazon Prime has just gone full woke uh, by trying to uh, recreate the story in a series called The Rings of Power. So in my opinion, there are some things that you really don't want to touch. And Lal Singh Chatta is a good example where they've taken it and it seems based on the reviews at least that you know they've screwed it pretty badly right in, in fact uh, many people kind of are hinting that you know he has spent almost four years uh, doing this that and all in fact i remember one instance where there was a guy called 50 cents he just kind of lost almost almost all his weight for a movie and the movie just slunk right and it just went down the drain and uh, I, we, we are seeing a similar scene here as well. Do you think all his, all his efforts, four years, I guess we should uh, at least give him uh, some credence? I would rather like to take a slightly different view on hits and misses. I still cannot believe that the boycott trend that happened is basically the reason for the movie not performing well, or at least the news that we are hearing uh, today. I think this is just the first step. And in my opinion, what has happened is that the mainstream media has switched roles. Earlier, the mainstream media's presence in the social media was to just extend their reach. And for them, the social media was an additional audience. So it was a one-way communication from the mainstream media to social media. Now, what has happened today, you know, over the years is that it's going the reverse where mainstream media is getting influenced by social media. So in a way, you could still say that what is happening in social media, for example, the boycott trends, not just of the movie, but for products and brands and things like that. Once they are picked up by the mainstream media, the mainstream media is able to generate the reach that online social media like Twitter's and Facebook's never are going to have. And I think this is the trap that mainstream media set for itself and uh, probably has fallen into it. That could be one reason why uh, the boycott calls seem to work. But my take on this is that let us take a movie which is well made with good intentions, you know, good creativity, but still has the messages that we don't really like. Uh, messages such as what I'm hearing, you know, just I was going through the Twitter timeline and you know, there is a dialogue in the movie which uh, Amir Khan, the character of Amir Khan says that uh, Puja Paat Karne Se Dange Hote Hain, uh, Nupur Ke Bolne Se Dange Hote Hain, you know, Swastik Lagane Se Dange Hote Hain, Yog Karne Se Dange Hote Hain, so those are not the dialogues, but I am just extending that, uh, you know, so and that is the kind of asymmetry that uh, we've uh, started to believe. And, uh, and the point is that if you have a good movie, a well-made movie, which still has such messages, and people say that, hey, I'm not going to watch this movie, even if it is well made. Then you can say that, you know, there is a true awakening. But today what is happening is that the movie itself seems to be not well made. Okay, the movie itself seems to be not meant for Indian audiences. And then we do a correlation that the movie is not working because of the boycott. I think we live in such false delusion sometimes. I don't know if it is a false delusion right now or not, but... We should be in a position to say that, hey, the movie didn't work, 
even if it is good because it has the wrong message we don't like the message and therefore i am not going to watch the movie so boycotts generally don't work but boycotts work when you take a stance and say that you know as a part of the stance i am either going to do certain things or not going to do certain things and that would be my take on the boycott part uh, so the movie doing well or not doing well for me i think is immaterial what has really happened is that the people like amir khan you know who were playing the one way street of saying that i talk you listen or now forced to express their regrets and things like that you know the, the for all practical purposes that is not very sincere but uh, they are at least forced to do that so i think that is a small first step and uh, it's it's certainly a small victory but i wouldn't really blow it out of proportion and say that uh, you know things are happening because uh, there are trends that are being uh, uh, kind of fired on social media right maybe lastly uh, i would just like to touch upon and maybe ask you this question as somebody kind of shared a list or uh, with uh, a list a list of movies with almost everything being flopped uh, in the last year or so and just one movie standing out out of the kashmir files that uh, that was a blockbuster uh, what do you think what do you make out of that you know uh, is bollywood uh, boycott is it working i i know because you say you know it's still uh, a sentimental emotional uh, people or i guess we need to look into the numbers per se uh, how it works but still do you think you know uh, is it, is it, are we still inching towards that do you think uh, it could ever be a reality that the bollywood can be um, made for good like all businesses and bollywood is a business as well they see where money is however what has happened over the years is that they have looked at the sources of their money which is not exactly the tickets right um, they are uh, rights for example um, to netflix or some of the online uh, streaming sites and there was something which i read that lal singh chadda has been sold for some record price with uh, uh, to netflix and therefore you know they are not really staring at a big loss or anything like that but so what ends up happening is that i think the industry itself has come to or has evolved in such a way that they want to eliminate uh, the ticket sales as the major source of the revenue so when that is the case what ends up happening is that you don't take decisions based on what somebody wants to see because that person's ticket price is not really going to matter to you so things change now because there is a noise that is created uh, by this otherwise silent people by by people you know whose uh, voice was not there and right now it is there and as i said it is probably happening because the mainstream media has fallen into the trap of uh, listening to social media which was never the intention in the first place will bollywood change my belief therefore is bollywood will not change unless the source of money changes i am not that optimistic that it will change but i have a feeling that there would be some course correction that will happen uh, you talked about kashmir files right now uh, kashmir files uh, is a movie that needed to be made right and whether the movie is artistically good creatively excellent was not the point i think many people have raised that and uh, you know my feeling is hey it's okay you know you don't need uh, steven spielberg to talk about 6 million jews who were uh, murdered you know somebody has to start off and uh, we always like that 6 million with jews you know we have no clue how many kashmiri hindus were murdered so at some point somebody has to uh, you know take the camera uh, so to speak and then start making movies uh, start reaching out to the masses and uh, that is what has happened with kashmir files maybe in a few years somebody is going to make a movie you know which is uh, uh, as i said creatively brilliant uh, and still you know talking about uh, the exodus of kashmiri hindus yeah, but it will happen so i think the more financial success that people see in such themes and financial failures of themes that don't work you know that sets a trend and my belief is that there would be some course correction but i don't expect bollywood in general to uh, uh, really take a 180 degree turn on what they do i'm sure we're really not going to bet with you on that in terms of bollywood getting better or worse but yeah thank you very much kans for joining us i guess we we, we might be doing more of uh, such uh, I'm not. I'm not going to say this is a film review per se. This is just just trying to uh, tell people that boycott is happening and it is for real and it can happen any time. Thank, thank you, Kans. Thank you.